Hello guys, um, so I've been wanting to start this channel for a while, um, and I'm finally getting around to doing it, um, <coughs> this is Really Good Beer Reviews, it's the name of the channel, I'm Mason, um, and the channel's gonna be just that, me giving you really good beer reviews, um, it'll be all kinds of different beers, um, uh, I wanna give a shout out first of all to Greg's Beer Reviews, he really influenced me to go ahead and open up this channel um, if you haven't checked him out I'll try to put a, a link into his channel he's great um, really smart dude when it comes to just beer and uh, he really knows his stuff I've been watching him since I was about 17 finally just turned uh, 21 um, in October and the 20th 2014 this year um, for the future viewers <laughs> um, and so uh, I really love beer thought to myself golly darn it what the heck am I doing not you know reviewing beer I mean I don't know everything there is to know but I sure know a heck of a lot and uh, so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start reviewing some beers and see how we go uh, hopefully eventually it'll get to the point where uh, much like Greg's beer reviews you guys could send me you know different beers to try uh, shipping to me or whatever or even just give me suggestions of beers to try while I'm out and about and uh, yeah I don't know so so yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll get we'll start it off with just something simple that I'm sure all you guys have tried um, is one of the first beers I tried uh, back in the this so Yingling we're gonna go with the Yingling Lager just the traditional lager Lager, excuse me. And as you can tell, um, it says on the bottle on the bottom there. My camera's not the greatest. Hopefully that'll improve as well. Um, it is Yingling is America's oldest brewery. Uh, so it's pretty good. I guess we'll go ahead and open it. You know what? I was afraid of this. You never know. Some of these are, you know, they're. There you go. Sometimes you know you they're they're pop off and you don't know. It looks like that one was a twist off, but they must have messed up on the cap or something. Cause, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into a glass. This is just a it's a regular pint glass here, so. See, we got a nice head on that there. Um, it's pretty, fairly small, honestly. Uh, so it's gonna. The way I do reviews, we'll start them out at a uh, hundred points, and uh, I'll see if they stay there. Or whatever, I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, I'm gonna lose a couple points because that head was a little bit less than what I wanted to see. Now. The color, you can't really tell. It looks, it's a, uh, it's an, it's a, it's kind of amber. It's not an amber ale uh, or anything, but it's, it's a little red, a little yellow from this light. And, you know, the light's dark in here. Who, who cares? Uh, it kind of looks like piss from this angle. You know, I do this, but uh, and then here it looks like, you know red I don't know anyways you get the idea got a little bit of a cold too so you have to pardon me for that um, let's go ahead and uh, I can't say get a nose on it let's go ahead and smell it we'll see how, what it smells like if what we can gather from the smell wow it smells pretty good um, I mean it smells like a like it's gonna be, like it's a pretty good beer um, nobody had this before so maybe I'm a little biased but uh it smells pretty good yingling is uh, not that strong in alcohol content so if you get drunk off of, off a of yingling or two you're Probably shouldn't drink beer. Should probably uh, 
you know, maybe maybe drink Bex or O'Doul's or something that maybe you can handle there. Uh, sorry, but all right, smells pretty good. It's not very strong, so go ahead and get a taste of. Wow. Now, I've had some yinglings before. They always taste the same. It's a, you know, it's a macro, macro brew. Uh, but this particular beer, bursting with flavor. I mean, instantly. There's almost a, a malty. On the, on the front end, there's definitely a malty kind of taste. Um, just a lot of a lot of hops there. I'm tasting cedar. Yeah, I'll be damned if that's not cedar. Tasting cedar on it. Um, whew. I mean, you know, we're gonna take a couple sips, but. Yingling is a it's a very complex beer and it's 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 incredible. Uh, I love Yingling. I love the company and I love all they stand for. They're America's oldest brewery, so I mean you gotta love them. Really set the foundations for beers we know it today. You know, without them we wouldn't have natural, uh, excuse me, natural light or or uh, I don't know. I mean, you name it. Name your favorite beer. Um, Perhaps Blue Ribbon, maybe. We don't have... We wouldn't have that without... Um... Without England, so... Um... We'll go ahead and be back. And, uh... I'm gonna keep drinking this delicious beer. And I'll let you know... Uh... How it, how it is at the end. We'll, we'll get down to the... The final sip, and uh, I'll let you know how the beer was up to that point. <coughs> I'm back, and uh, we're down to the last little bit there. So you can tell I've enjoyed. I mean, you don't know how the time lapse was, but it was, it was quick. I got up and turned the light on. Um, need a little more light, just to, the light. The the uh, the beer actually is a lot more yellow. Then, then red. Um, it was good though, uh, for sure. But the more I got into it, um, I started tasting cinnamon. There's a, I mean, it's not very prominent. Um, there's definitely a taste, a hint of cinnamon in there. Um, like I said, cedar. All in all, dude, it was a pretty great beer. Um, I'll go ahead and take the last, the last gulp here, and we'll get you a, out of a hundred. We'll give you a rating on it. So, wow! It's just every time <laughs> Yingling surprises me because this is so good. Um, anyway, there you go. So the bottle looks like. Um, you want to go out and purchase one? Uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, out of a hundred, I'm gonna have to give this a 96. 90, 90, yeah, 96 maybe. 94 to 96. You know, uh, let's just let's just even it out. 95. So, Yingling traditional lager. 95, and uh, it was great. I hope I hope uh, you get to try it. If for some reason you've been living under a rock, and you haven't tried it, go try it. It's worth your time. It's great. Uh, I love it. All right. Well, it's been uh, really good beer reviews. This is Mason here for really good beer reviews. Uh, I said it wrong the first time. I'm so sorry. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh. <laughs> and uh, subscribe. Like, share with all your friends. Uh, the reviews are gonna get they're they're gonna get better. Uh, it's my first one, so if it seemed a little awkward or whatever, I apologize. But thank you very much for giving me your time, and uh, 
What do you, I, if you've had the beer, what do you think of it? Do you like it? You love it? You hate it? Uh, whatever. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And uh, who knows, man? Give me some suggestions of some other stuff if, if that's like Yingling. Um, I probably already know it, but you know, maybe I don't. So, um, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, do all that stuff. Deuces, y'all.